Brent Cross Shopping Centre. The bright star among the North London Borough of Barnet sits on the busy A41 flyover, which helps to see its many customers enter its doors every day. With its 8,000 free parking spaces and its three retail floors, it's easy to see why so many customers choose Brent Cross as their shopping haven. When it was first built in 1976, it was expected to do well to hope to bring in a younger audience, and it slowly became one of the largest earning shopping centres in London. Featuring over 120 stores, including big name giants like Apple, Banana Republic and Hugo Boss, it's clear how the shopping centre gets its customers. But just up the road, the shopping centre is causing a stir among some residents. Hendon, a short two minute walk away from Brain Cross, has become a hotspot for students due to Middlesex University and their many local halls of residence. But with the cost of living rising for students, and bargains in shops so little nowadays, some students are feeling very hard done by because of Brent Cross Shopping Centre and suggesting it isn't very student friendly. We went straight to the university to speak to some of the students to see what they had to say. Hendon is a great place to live. It's a short walk to the university and the station is just down the road with good links to central London. But what is lacking is any shops for us to go to. Brent Cross Shopping Centre is within walking distance but unfortunately it focuses more on high end names such as John Lewis and Fennec and they forget about the little guys. My student budget doesn't allow me to spend too much money on myself, let alone in expensive shops that charge over the odds for products I could get cheaper elsewhere, but that means spending more on travel. In a place that sees most of its profit come from students, they argue that more should be available for them at a fair price, with cheaper retail and supermarkets nearby. Let's just hope that Brain Cost Shopping Centre listens to its customers and take on what they have to say.